Hello everyone, hope you're doing really well. So today I'm going to show you model matching in MSFS 2024 and also 2020 and what I use. Um, since getting MSFS 2024, I've switched to, um, is it FSLTL, the um, fly-by-wire. I'm not sure if it's made by them, but it's on their installer. I've switched to that model matching because it was just 20 times easier than doing AIG. Um, not that I struggled with AIG, but the process was just a lot quicker. And I've had a few people ask me what I use for model matching. So today, that's what I'm gonna show you, what model matching and how set it, and how set it up for MSFS. So what we're gonna do is come to Fly By Wire Simulations website, all links be in the description below. Scroll down a bit until you see this here, the custom built installer. Press the download button and install that onto your PC. And then once it's installed, what you will find is this homepage here. What you want to do is come down to the third little tab in the left and click FSLTL base models. Once you've clicked FSLTL uh, traffic base models, you want to click install. Before you do that, um, in the downloads, make sure you have your community folder and install directory where you want it to be. Now, as you guys know, I use mod, um, MSFS add-on linker. So all of my add-ons go to a separate folder that's not in the community folder. However, if you're not using that, just put it straight into a community folder and it will all be there. So as you can see, pretend this is my community folder because it essentially is. You'll have this folder in your community folder called FSLTL traffic base. Now in here, this is all your model matching everything uh, for that sim. If you want this in MSFS 2024, the way I had done it, which was quite simple, I just literally copied it. And then when you go to MSFS 2024 community folder, I've just copied it and put it in. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Uh, here we go. I put it in dependencies. Um, you'll have just copy and paste it into your other community folder. And it really is as simple as that as pressing install in your community folder. However, that is not the end of it because you need to make sure that vpilot talks to the model matching and then has like a link to each other so i'll show you what to do in vpilot once you open up vpilot it is going to start scanning all the models there we are that's all done and then here we are go to settings and then model matching msfs or else msfs 2024 you want to go to the custom rules section now once you install the fsltl base models you're gonna get a file like this. So if you press add custom rules, so once you get into the actual folder itself, you wanna click FSLTL traffic base, the one you just installed. And then down here, you're gonna find FSLTL rules.vmr. Now this is just a model matching VMR file, which talks to vpilot and also the model matching. Click open on that one, and then it's gonna be in here. And you wanna do the same as well for 2024 it'll be exactly the same. So add custom rules, go to your community folder, pretend this is my community folder, go to the uh, folder just installed, and then fsltlrules.vmr is also in there for you. Click open and then it talks to it, but that's everything. So then once you get into uh, VATSIM and connect, you should see loads of aircraft around you. Now for a quick mention, this is FSLTL traffic injector. Now what that is and why it's different, is that it's going to inject traffic into your sim and start flying planes around um, around you as the traffic. Um, I personally don't use this because I'm always flying online so if there's any questions about the traffic injector I'm not the best person to ask because I've never used it and never installed it. This video is basically purely on the base models which is for that sim. So that's essentially what it is and also in the description below it does say as well um, what it includes. And it says if you use an FSLTL injector, MSFS default live traffic or that sim. So you need, if you're going to do the injector, you need to install the base models as well. If you want to just use them for that sim, then you just install the base models. You don't need the injector. And here is a lovely example of the model matching in MSFS 2024. As you can see, there is a Leipzig aircraft over there thanks to uh, the model matching that we just installed and also through vpilot so that is everything once you have everything installed and activated the vmr file you should have all your model matching installed obviously there are other ones you could use there's a tweed plane over there as well however i personally believe fsltl is the best for me at this time well everyone i hope you all enjoyed that video and i look very much forward to seeing you in the next one have a great rest of your day see you soon